Hello? Don't open for anyone. Hello there. Who are you? Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Clementine. 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 Well, you look just like a Clementine. Mind if I <laughs> she come is in? not amused. Clementine, I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Would you please leave? Apparently not. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. I'm alone. I'm alone. Really? Even yeah, though that's kind of an of obvious myself. lie. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people That's a to lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. So let's hope Sarah is hidden properly. Please don't be played for several people or something. for one person. Looks like a tornado ran oh, through yeah. here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, okay, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Grab hey, knife. I got here and I already don't want to leave. <laughs> Where does this go? Over there. Uh, in the drawer there. Uh, you are an annoyance guy. I don't like you. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. Sarah, get the gun. And a bullet. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. <sighs> Real smug son of a bitch. What happened to him? But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. <sighs> Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? Sarah. Sarah. I thought you said nobody's here. Nobody is there. Nobody is here. Are you kidding me? Sarah, shoot him. Sarah, I you're sticking you halfway out of the bed. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. <sighs> Who's this? Sarah. Must be someone who lived here. Must be someone who lived here. Must be. <laughs> you have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't, I don't know, know what, what you're, you're talking, talking about. about. 
Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's, What's your, point? your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. Hmm. The intruder. And of course she crawled out before he left. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Well, he found your picture. He knows it's you. He'll be back. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm I down. didn't open the I door. I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? No. Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? I don't remember. You don't remember? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? His how voice was, was deep. He? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? <laughs> yeah. Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. Well, we're not. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. If she hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. We have to leave. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Random dead zombie. Now you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. Why is Carver after Why you? Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. <laughs> it's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. And that's why we have two you words. Get there. You know, none for of other us people. Make it on our own. Sometimes one word for singular and one word for like plural. I'm not that's what we have in Norway. I'm not comfortable with in that. English, I'm supposed to it's be a the monster. same word. Guess I need or to singular and plural. plural. Alvin and I still don't know so what that's to call good. her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem?
Where's Pete? Are you back in the truck? That's where we were. Now Pete the Walker will come and attack us. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. That's a zombie. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Follow the blood. So he's behind the rock. Anyone see him? And he will attack. Pete. Pete. Hey, Pete. Oh. Hey, Pete. Well, he died before becoming a walker. So that's good. Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. Mm. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. Carla. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Hmm, you're the one who left him to die, Nick. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He saved my life. He saved my life. Well, that was... that was Pete. I'm sorry. And now Nick is blaming himself because he left him to die. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. Are you I sure we got that? about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Five days later. On the collapsing bridge, of course. <laughs> so they've just walked around for five days without being overrun by a horde of zombies. See Quite impressive. She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. <laughs> that sounds like a good place to spend the night. <laughs> Being big yeah, is good. This back. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Anything else? There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. Bridge. The bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Yes. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. 
You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I can do it. Yay. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? <laughs> if something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. <laughs> oh, Nick. Hey.